this is Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. This video is going to be a demonstration of how to attach your newly made flat band set onto your slingshot. Now believe it or not this is actually a lot more simpler than you think. Uh, there's no real serious knot tying skills involved. It's actually a lot more simpler than you might think. A lot of beginners often think that it's going to be like Oh, like how are you supposed to tie it on? How are you supposed to like keep it in there? Like do it all? But it's actually far more simpler than you think. There's a couple of tricks that I'm going to show you here that definitely help you, because there are right ways and then there are wrong ways of how to tie the band set onto your slingshot. This slingshot in particular is my homemade creation. This is one of my first ones. This one's made of a half inch thick aluminum flat bar. So it's uh, and I have it. Uh, originally I tried to paint it but it didn't work with the paint so I have a camo grip tape all over it so it still works it shoots great I love it it's one of my first creations so I'm very pleased with it so I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, flat bands onto the slingshot so here's a slingshot uh, band set that I've previously made um, in general so take notice how there is the uh, knot on this side here and on the knots they're both facing the same way. So this side right here is going to be the outside. The inside of the pouch is where is opposite of the knots. So the ammo you're going to be having goes right here. So first and foremost, we want to lay this out on a flat on the table. So that way the inside of the pouch, where the ammo sits, faces up. And this basically is going to go right on top, just like that. See how it's open right here? flat goes right up here. So this goes right on top of the slingshot right here. Roughly, you see the groove, most slingshots you have will have a groove so that way you can do your tie-ons with. So what we want to do is we want to have this little bit of here overlap roughly about an inch. Uh, some people do half inch, some people do three quarters of an inch. I usually do about one inch. So um, have an overlap on the top of the slingshot again. Just notice how it's flat and that's the inside of the pouch right there. So I'm going to tie this on with uh, elastic bands. Uh, normally you should do the uh, same material as what the uh, bands that you made are made of, but for the sake of this video I'm going to use elastic bands so that way you can see it a little bit better. So what you want to do is you want to hold this down with your, th with your finger or thumb. I'm going to hold it down with my thumb right here. And what you want to do is you just want to take the elastic band, just slip it right underneath your thumb, hold that down. Now the f first big trick here is that like, you don't want to just wrap this around all loose like because then when you pull this, it's going to slip out and it's going to be completely useless. So the first thing you got to do is make sure you're pulling this tight, tight, tight. See right there, I got it nice and tight there. I'm just gonna keep pulling it tight. And I use my other finger underneath to hold it in position. So that way we can constantly keep it tight, keep wrapping it around nice and tight. So you wanna wrap it around roughly around three times, give or take. It's up to you how many months, how many times we want to wrap it up. I usually go around three on average. So now you got it wrapped around three times. So this little bit of access that you have right here, what you want to do is we want to actually fold that upwards, covering up our original wraps. So it's going to look like this. You just fold it upwards and you're going to take your wrap and wrap it around that. Wrap it around that access, just like that. Don't worry too much if that access gets a little folded on the corner. Like you can see right there, it's a little folded. It's nothing too much to worry about. And then what you want to do at this point is wrap it another two or three times. Now normally what they show you at this point is to wrap this around your thumb, just like that. Bring it around one more time and slip the access underneath your thumb and then let this access here roll over top of that. And that's how you secure it. That's the, there is no knot to this. 
That's all you're doing is just overlapping this a little bit. For me, I got a bigger thumb, so I find this to be a little bit tricky. So what I do is uh, sometimes I'll take tweezers and take that little access and just slip it underneath my thumb a little bit to help it. But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work. So what I'm going to show you is the paper clip trick. So we got a little paper clip that's right here. Just like that. So instead of putting my thumb there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paper clip and hold it over top just like that. This way here, I'm going to wrap this around one more time. Come on, there we go. You got to be careful not to hook up the bands. And what you want to do is you wrap it around once, and then what you want to do is you want to take that access and just slip it inside the paper clip. Just like that. And hold the access down with your thumb on this side. And then what you want to do is take the paper clip and pull it through. Sometimes you gotta give it a little spit, you know, just to lubricate the band a little bit so that way you can pull it through a little bit easier. Just give it a nice good pull. There we go. And that's it. Then you just take that little bit of access, cut it down just a little bit, shorten it down a little bit, and that's all you gotta do. And wipe off a little bit of that spit access that's a bit there. But that's it. That's all you gotta do to tie it on. That's it's very plain, it's very simple. And of course, always check your bands. Always check your bands. Right now, that is secure. It's not going anywhere. So take notes. How this is the front of the slingshot. It's going to be facing away from you. It goes over top of the bands. And again, this is the inside of the pouch right here. So how do you go about tying on the other one? Basically the exact same way. You just want to turn this around. Again, have it overlap by one inch so that way and you don't want to be in a position of where you're gonna see how when I pull it as I pull it back notice how the the two bands almost form like a v-shape type of thing take notice so as Fowler would say that's a V for victory or when you turn it around see how it's almost forming a pointed edge like an A which means a for absolutely wrong. <laughs> also, you'll notice that the knots on the pouches are on the inside now, which is no good. Those knots will interfere with your shot. So you want to have the knots on the outside here. So before you tie on this side here, what you want to do is that you want to overlap it an inch, hold it up vertically wise, and just let this dangle. Just very carefully, just pull it down a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit of pressure, because you want to make sure that the Pouch is aligned properly. You don't want to be in a position where it's going to be sitting, you know, like that. You don't want to be in, you know, position of sitting like that. You want the two knots to be almost completely aligned. And then you just simply, once you got that thing, hold it in place like I have right here. And as before, you just want to find a nice good grip spot. Take your thumb, elastic, and then just simply just wrap it and tie it on. And keep it tight. Always keep the band as you're wrapping around tight, tight, tight as you're wrapping it around. And fold that access over top just as before. This time I'm going to put my thumb across to there. Wrap it around. I'm going to slip this in underneath my thumb. As I said before, sometimes it gets a little annoying to have to do this. So you got to practice a little bit. And there you go. It's over, just overlapped, just like that. Again, check your bands. Make sure. And you want to make sure you don't want to make sure that your bands are not tangled. If they're twisted a little bit, then you're gonna to have to untie one side and retie it again. But it's gonna look like this when you're done. That's it. Simple, easy to do. This is Green Hat Red Beater Adventures. Stay safe. Have fun.